Alright, so I watched the first episode of Secret Invasion. And I'm praying that Marvel keep this shit up. Let's talk about it. So Secret Invasion is the latest show to arrive on Disney Plus and it follows Nick Fury's return to Earth after spending years on the space station to combat a new threat. Now, just a heads up, this video will contain spoilers, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, you might want to click off this video. Or if you have seen it, or you just don't care, please feel free to continue. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the direction they decided to take and making Nick Fury essentially a shell of his former self. I thought that was a very good idea, not only because Sam Mill is getting older, but it shows the years have not been kind to Nick Fury. It shows that the events that he's been through hadn't left him unscarred physically or mentally. You know, all the comrades and everything say he would have been three, four steps ahead. He's just not there anymore. And I think that is a very good way to go. Just, you know, the man died. When he got blipped, he died. You can't expect him to come back the same way as he was. That couple on top of age, injury, and everything else. So I thought that was a good start um, and a good direction to go with Nick Fury. Also, I liked the show. It's going a darker direction. And I've always liked when Marvel or Disney as a whole does that. It adds a layer of realism to the show, in my opinion. These shows with rebellions and wars where nobody fucking dies, bro. Like, you, you can't do that. I think that shit is some of the lamest shit ever. And I really appreciate that with Secret Invasion, Marvel is not doing that at all. From the beginning, they weren't afraid to show death and blood where people were shot or stabbed. And I appreciated that. Nothing grinds my gears more than a movie that clearly shows people getting shot, stabbed, or whatever the case may be, and don't show a lick of fucking blood. And granted, I'm not saying it gotta be rated R. I'm not saying it gotta be Deadpool level shit. But damn, show something. You ain't got to overdo it, and I think Marvel did well with that. Now, y'all know how I feel about antagonists, and I am happy to say that this nigga Gravik is bringing Black Air Force energy to the MCU on Disney+. Plus. Not only was this man catching bodies, he is not afraid to get his hands dirty at all. This nigga is not to be trifled with. I know y'all remember Maria Hill from back in the day. She go all the way back to the first Avenger. But she comes back in this one. And if you're excited to see her again, I got news for you. Yeah, she dead as fuck, my guy. Uh, she ain't gonna be in this. First episode, get her out of here. Which is not a bad thing, I might add. I think it was a smart way that Marvel went about it. They went by killing off someone who, yeah, had a dwindling role in the past years. She wasn't in many of the movies or shows or anything like that. But she is still a well-known character that has been there since the beginning. So I think it was a smart way to go. And it was just good. It was unexpected. And it added to the weight that the, the big bad is going to bring. If he is going to kill niggas off in the first episode, I'm calling it a plus. Overall, episode one did a damn good job at reintroducing the Skrull to the MCU and giving them real purpose that they're fighting for. I like the fact that they're taking the time to flush these characters out and not just having them as support characters that we don't care about the moment they're off screen. You know, I think the atmosphere and the, and the tone that they're going with with this show it is what's needed for the future of the MCU. And I'm excited for it. And if Maria Hill's death is any indication, I think we can expect a lot of people to be getting hashtagged throughout this show. Some we know, some we don't. Either way, I think Marvel got themselves a good one with this one. 
and I'm excited for the next episode. All right, that's my review slash thoughts for Secret Invasion episode one. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button for it helps me out a lot. And then while you're at it, consider subscribing and join me on the road to 500. Many blessings to all y'all. And if you want to see more, stay tuned. I'm out.